From here, you can see the tide turn like a door on its hinges. We're just going out. Do you want anything from the ocean? Robert Dunn. What is going on, everybody? This is Jeff with Island Hopper TV, and today I'm coming to you from Portsmouth in New Hampshire. So this is one of the premier destinations you will be visiting when you come to New Hampshire, along with places like uh, North Conway or Mount Washington if you guys go up there obviously they have Manchester uh, So I have taken the Amtrak from Portland down here to Dover and now entered into Portsmouth and that is what we are going to be exploring here We are expecting rain here in the next uh, couple hours it is currently late in September, about September, what, 26th, 2019. It was actually 80 degrees today, but, uh, you know, we do have some winter weather making an appearance. And, yeah, so we're going to walk around this downtown area. There's a place here that you'll want to explore called Strawberry Banks. Um... So that's got corks and curds. I'm really excited to grab some drinks and also get some food. When I first arrived here, I actually took the bus from the Amtrak for $1.50 from Dover. I was like, you usually get uh, Uber, but it was <laughs> so convenient. It took a little bit longer than an Uber, but uh, they dropped me off right in front of a Mexican restaurant. I was like, oh really? They have Mexican food out here. So, that looks like the area where everything's going on, but it's actually, from what I've heard from the locals, the Uber drivers, I've had two of them already, they told me that there's enough going on in Portsmouth to keep you pretty entertained. And actually, on the other side of the river here, if you want to call it that, of the, the harbor, is Maine, called Kittery. And there's a naval shipyard over there, which would be about that way. And you can see the old naval uh, prison. And then there's also something else that I wanted to mention, which is there's a couple islands off the coast here in Portsmouth. And uh, one of them is called Newcastle. So this is now Congress and Church Street. I started out on Market. Cheap steak Tuesday, $7 all day. Hmm, it's been a while since I've had some steak, but I am in the mood for some clam chowder at the very least. So this here is Fleet Street and Congress Street. Also a little bit of history about Portsmouth. Um, this used to be one of the busiest ports in all the United States back in the 17th, cent 17th century, 18th century. So there is some history here, but again, another one of those cities that the, uh, the British burned down. It's a lot of that from wartime. What do they got here? Natural nails. 
botanical aromatherapy, botanical green beauty. There's another restaurant. you're hearing right there is coming from a uh, motorcycle. It's basically walking around here showing you guys the central area. So now what we'll do is go back this way and head towards the waterfront at the end of the day that's what you all want to see right there's a couple of beautiful bridges around here too water monkey I might go back and get that hat so So here's that Mexican restaurant I was telling you about, La Coretta Restaurant Mexicano. And then you have the British Beer Company right there. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get some tacos. All right, so here we are along the waterfront now, going up to the waterfront, obviously. This is called the Di Dolphin Striker. walk down here it looks a lot colder than it is I mean you could see people are still wearing shorts right um, but there is a storm moving in and so we're getting ready to get some rain I mean it's beautiful weather like this is I don't know it was 80 earlier now it's probably 70 so it just feels really good um, there's a restaurant on the waterfront, Old Ferry Landing. Let's see what we got over here. This little area here kind of reminds me of uh, Savannah, Georgia. In a way. Let's see what we got down over here, though. broke a roll. I had some Mexican food in New England. It was just the idea of margaritas. Come on, I'm, I'm from the Southwest, so it's been a while. I've been having nothing but uh, clam chowder and lobster since I got up here, so I was just like, oh, Mexican food. So I did it. But I definitely wanted some clam chowder, I ain't gonna lie. I just couldn't really find a place that was as readily available as that Mexican restaurant and I was hungry. So here we are, the waterfront. You can see it says Navy over there. I'm going to see if I can go in a little bit of a different area here. Let's see what we got over here. Old ferry landing. I don't know how this is going to look if I go in here. Okay, walk that way too. Holy moly. All types of different uh, walking area or what? Let's see. Yeah, it is. It's a walking area. Oh, this is sweet. Cool. Let's give you a little view here. Chill, man. Oh, this is cool. 
This is a legit waterfront. Bow Street. Oh, this is cool. This is really a good spot. Let's see how far this keeps going. Let's see. Excuse me. So, it's starting to rain. It's probably that. Nice little area, okay. <laughs> All right, so if we keep going that way, that's the same deal. You go up both ways. Cool. Nice little bar hopping seafood situation there. And we're back up onto the road. Let's see where this takes us. Okay, so the surf room, add that to your list. Seriously, wasn't a lot of people there right now, but there was. The place probably gets going. Let's see. This is a cute dog. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest dog I've seen. It is so small and like a bulldog. A miniature bulldog. What do we got over here? What is down there? Private property. Okay. Well, we won't be going over there. Alehouse Inn. So this is called Bow Street. B O W. This uh, what is this? A theater. All right. Is the uh, lens getting wet? Eh, looks like it's okay. I almost want to wash it though. I won't. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? This is a common area. Let's go see what this is. Maybe it'll give us a view. My vibes changed because I drank a really good margarita. It's called the Cadillac. All right, let's see here. Um, hmm. We're going on an adventure, guys. We're gonna see what's down here. Trying to move quick. Should get you to the action as quick as possible. By the way, if you're still watching this video, please like the video for me. <laughs> YouTube has not been featuring many of these videos. 
as they could because I know these are good videos because I'm going to places that people want to see but because people aren't liking the videos YouTube doesn't think people want to see it I want to go over there though so that's that's the main side looks like you can cross that bridge um, we'll pick up over here all right let's see where this takes us so we got Isles of Shoals Ferry, Repertory Theater, Prescott Park. Let's see what's over here. All right. I don't know how much more action is this way. That is called the Memorial to the Sailors and Soldiers of the New Hampshire who participated in World War I. So that is a memorial, that bridge. Let me go over there and show you where that says. So you can see what it says. Memorial to the sailors and soldiers of New Hampshire who participated in the World War, 1917 and 1919. They love their America around here. Patriots. This is the home of the Patriots, literally and figuratively in all sense of the word. This is the home of the Constitution and the New England Patriots. That's why they call it New England. <laughs> Sure, the Patriots love calling it New England. Oh, it's the New England, the way that England should be. I think that's Maine's motto. You cross the bridge into Maine, it's Maine, the life, the way life should be. All right, I don't know what's over here. I'm gonna go back up into the downtown area, or should I keep going this way? Let's see. Looks like the downtown area's got some action going on, way off in the horizon. But I'm gonna go down to the waterfront, see where the Navy's at, with the Coast Guard, the Navy, the whole enchilada. Tomato, tomato, the whole enchilada. Looks like the main side of this river is pretty uh, happening also. This is North Pier. See the Great Fire of 1813. That's what they're mentioning on that. So this area here is known as the Strawberry Banks Museum. And the Strawberry Bank got its name because back in the old days when the you know British and the Americans were first settling this area there was a bunch of strawberries along the bank on the inner harbor area there so that's how it got its name now we're gonna walk around here and see what we have starting to rain a little bit so everyone's seeking shelter I'm 
go all the way down here to the actual bank, seashoreline bank, and see what it looks like. So this road is called Court Street. There's plenty of trees up in Maine where I saw apples growing. Like literally two of those eating the apples right off the tree. Okay. So, you can see why they would have wanted to settle up here with all the fruit bearing uh, trees and plants, you know, strawberries are sweet, apples. I really want to see what this Navy shipyard's all about. I know that the ships, so that's a memorial, that bridge right there, it's a drawbridge, I believe. It's built as a memorial to the soldiers and sailors from New Hampshire who passed away in World War I. So I'm curious. says Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. Pretty good there. Uh, chicken. Portsmouth just wants you guys to know they're bicycle friendly.
So it's not all rain and sunshine in Portsmouth <laughs> in fall, okay? Temple of Israel, Community Center. If your nails could take, could talk, they would say you need a manicure. Come on in. I thought it was a manicure, pedicure. Okay, let's go this way. Is it coffee time yet? Might be time to get some coffee. And now we are back at Market Square. Looks a whole lot different when it's uh, raining out. Wonder how that one got its name, Pleasant Street. It was a pretty pleasant street, wasn't it? This is Market Square. Actually, I think I've already gone that way, so I'm going to try this right over here. Jewelers. I think this is just a real quaint, fun town. And if you're in the area of New Hampshire, why don't you come on down and stop over for a night. And then head up to beautiful Maine, because there's a lot to see in Maine. Thanks. Um, also, if you stayed in New Hampshire, as I said earlier in the video, you can also go to um, a place like Mount Washington or... Somewhere in the north. North Conway. Wine bar. Anyone wants a Pinot Noir? No, no, how do you say it? Pinot Noir? Pinot Noir. I know it's not Pinot Grigio. Pinot Noir. It's the 
red one. I want you to explore around here. Look at that clamshell. Where's that? Not for sale. There's a huge clam, guys. Always listen to the art. I think we've explored this place pretty good. summary uh, Portsmouth is a place definitely to check out and actually I would love to go over to the main side and explore that little harbor there uh, you know that's they got nice houses over there it looks really classical a little bit different than the New Hampshire side obviously over here they've got these boats coming in to the marina and then they have the naval shipyard so if you do get a chance to come over to uh, New uh, Portsmouth uh, Portsmouth Portsmouth um, try to get over to the main side. I did not, but it looks like it's, uh, based on what I could see from, uh, the other side of the river here on Strawberry Banks, um, looks like a pretty good place to go, so. Seeing lots of fishermen coming in right now. The weather is about to start really bringing the rain. Probably in the next, uh, hour it's gonna get a lot more rain, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Maybe go back down towards downtown, but if you're new to this channel, uh, thanks for watching this video. And feel free to subscribe. Subscribers are always uh, great because that's what's encouraging me to keep going. So, look at these mallards, ducks. <laughs> All right. So anyways, from the Strawberry Banks. I mean, there's so much area over there to explore still, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because it's going to be a downpour. <laughs> so anyways, guys, see you all later, and uh, see you on the next video. I'm headed to, where am I headed to next? So from here, just to give you an update, I'm going to be heading towards um, like Nashville, hopefully, New Orleans, Alabama, Mississippi area, and then Texas. Maybe, maybe catch up with Denver. 
uh, and we'll see you from there. So, thanks for watching.